In physical geography assignment number six, you are going to be using polygon and line data in Google Earth to help you understand a watershed. You're going to start this assignment by downloading the KMZ file that I have for you on Blackboard that shows all the major US watersheds, which is what I'm looking at right now. We're only using this particular layer of polygons to identify the watershed that you want to study. When choosing one of these watersheds, I strongly recommend that you choose a smaller watershed, not one of the really large ones like the Ohio, the Mississippi, the Missouri. They'll be really tough to look at and will slow Google Earth Pro considerably. Instead, choose something smaller. For example, if we look in this part of Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Delaware here, you can see that there is a watershed for the Delaware watershed that extends up into New York State as well. That's the one that I'm going to look at. In fact, I've already downloaded it, so I'm actually going to turn off this layer, and I'm going to turn on the Delaware watershed layer. You'll see that as soon as I turn it on, a bunch of different things come up. You have a whole bunch of overlays here that show different types of land cover. You also have population layer. You have um, some elevation stuff as well. We actually want to get rid of these layers to make this all easier to manage. So I'm going to click on the elevation layer and I'm going to delete it. And then I'm going to click on the land cover layer and delete it. And then I'm going to delete the population data as well. Now all that I have up here is some data that shows the, um, the outline of the watershed, that's the polygon, and then lines that are with it. And I can actually turn this watershed characteristics off or on if I want to. You're going to end up not saving that layer, so we might as well just turn it off for the time being and delete it. So now all I have here are the polygon and the lines. And what you can see as I zoom in here a little bit, that the lines have different colors and those different colors are associated with different sizes. Um, some of the really large rivers, parts of the Delaware watershed are shown in this sort of purple color as shown down here. Some of you might have even larger rivers than that. And then as I work my way up through smaller and smaller streams, they become a lighter blue color. One of the things that I want you to experiment with is turning these various lines on and off. One of the things that a geographic information system allows us to do is to filter data and keep just the layers that we want to look at. So go over here on this side and open up the stream data. <clears throat> and I did that just by clicking this little arrow here and you'll see all the different layers appear. And probably the most important thing to turn off is the actual is actually the smallest streams because once we turn the smaller streams off um, which almost always make a stream area look like they are uh, sort of a dendritic drainage um, we start to see more patterns emerge so let me turn this off and you can see immediately that there's some really interesting patterns of streams in through here that have this sort of trellised shape to them and then there are other patterns in other places, particularly in New York, where you do have more of a dendritic network taking place. So there are different types of stream patterns that you can find based on what the underlying um, geomorphological con and geological conditions are. And I want you to do a little bit of research in the text about those stream patterns and then try to identify the things that you see in your particular stream area. You can then turn all of these back on and you can collapse this so we just have the watershed layers here of the boundary and streams. You can keep that USGS identifier. And then what I want you to do is I want you to highlight the watershed layers here or you could highlight the entire watershed. And I want you to then right click on it and save that place as and then you can save it as the Delaware watershed. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be saving just the layers that we want.
And you can see that that Delaware watershed is saved here. I've changed the name of it. Um, and it should be found on my desktop as well. I can actually turn all these off or actually delete them is what I should do um, just to get rid of all the stuff and then check and go to another part of the country, stop it there and open that file up. And so I'm just going to double click it on my desktop. And when I double click it on my desktop, you'll see that it appears here. I'm going to turn that little dialog box off. But what I have turned on is just the watershed and the boundary and streams. And that's what I want you to send to me because I want to see that you are able to manipulate these layers and keep the stuff that you want to keep, get rid of the stuff that you don't want. And then I want you to do two things to discuss your watershed and any interesting patterns that you see there. And there's certainly a number of interesting patterns in this one. And then number two, I want you to talk about the tool that we're using. And in this case, it's a geographic information system with a polygon and lines in it that allows to filter and drill down to understand the patterns that we're looking at. So that's what this assignment is about. And as always, if you have any questions about it, I'm happy to answer them.